To begin with, we'll create an image library. Libraries are where you can store all your clip arts to then use on your products. You can create master libraries with categories so you can easily organize all your clip arts. Click Edit to open the library and add category to create a new category. Pick a thumbnail for the category. This is the icon that will represent this group of clip arts. Then click Edit to open the category and add image to upload the clip art. Just select all the clip art for that category and you're good to go. Keep in mind that the clip art you use should already be resized to fit your designs correctly. In this case, all the dog faces were previously resized to fit the design. To add more categories, just go back to the main library and repeat the process. You can add as many categories as you need. After adding all the categories, you'll see something like this. You should create libraries for every part of the design that will have clip art choices, like animals or quotes. In this example, the quote options won't have categories. So instead of adding categories, I will add the quotes clip arts right away. Once you have your clip art libraries ready, the next thing to do is to create your personalization template. Head to the next video to continue.